Good afternoon, WA7FSH Glenn. Um, well, another how-to video. This one will uh, be in several parts. Hopefully we can uh, join it all together and, and make it look nice and very fluid. But I went down and bought myself a new Christmas present. Uh, it's been probably six or eight months since I've been able to get on HF. So, uh, living here in the apartment complex and having to be able to put up and take down my antennas uh, each time I use them, I elected to go with a new vertical HF antenna. So, let me turn the camera around and, uh, and show you what we got. Okay, um, I hope you can kind of see it. Uh, this is the MP1 Super Antenna. And uh, it is a fantastic portable antenna. A lot of guys use it for summits on the air, parks on the air, and things like that. This is the main antenna body here. Uh, over here to the right is the resonator for uh, 80 meters and 75 meters. And then there is a antenna stud. Um, I went and purchased a uh, couple pieces of thin Lexan, and I'm going to drill a couple holes in that and, uh, and mount it to a camera tripod and then put that uh, antenna stud through the Lexan. Uh, so that's the hopes today. Or I may attach it to this telescopic mast that you see that the hamstick is currently attached to. So, haven't decided yet. We'll see uh, uh, see how it goes. That uh, telescopic mast right there uh, s extends out to 15 feet. And uh, I think that added height uh, might really be a, uh, a good choice as well. So, anyway, I am going to go ahead and push the pause button here. And we will uh, start to unpackage things. Get them laid out and then I'll be back. Okay, uh, part two, or the continuation. Um, I have the parts and pieces uh, connected, or, or all unpacked, not connected. Um, the, uh, the cards at the top of the packages um, describe very well what's inside. Um, this antenna, it says, will uh, do, in its stock configuration, without any extra coils, will do 40 through 2 meters. Um, and in the two meter, six meter, uh, six meter, four meter, and two meter configuration, you actually don't even use the super slider coil. You just configure it with, uh, the bottom masting section and this top whip that you see here. And you adjust it for the length of the whip to, uh, to get, uh, the desired SWR. Um, so it comes with... This nice little wing nut right here that can you use uh, in a mobile configuration to clamp down the uh, super slider here. And again, this slider is for use from 40 meters to 10 meters. Uh, the smaller slider that you see here is the 80 and 75 meter uh, resonator. Then this is the telescoping top whip section of the antenna and then these aluminum rods are the bottom section in between the coil and that top whip and as you can see it's a two-part comes with its own coupling net uh, nut up there on top um, the instructions do recommend that you use just a little drop of oil um, I'm thinking like three in one oil or sewing machine oil, something like that on the threads of everything, uh, as you put it together. Um, also included is, uh, this really handy set of directions. And, um, if I can see, I can pull that loose. This is actually a plastic ruler for use with the super slider coil from 10 meters up to 40 meters. The red line here is for a 60 meter 
uh, coil, resonator. And then the black line over here on this side is the 7580 meter coil. And it has graduation marks. Uh, let's see if I can get in here and zoom in. Yeah, you can see this goes from 4.1 up to uh, 3.5 on, uh, on the ruler. And the same with the 10 to uh, 40 meter side. So you basically what you do is you take this little L-shaped piece here at the bottom and you put it on the bottom of the slider coil and then slide your coil up to the desired frequency and, uh, and that's when then you start checking your SWR from there. So anyway, I will rejoin you for part three soon. Thank you. WA7FSH uh, with the WA4NDR stopped by the ham shack. Okay, I have the MP1 super antenna all put together here. Uh, you can see it there, screwed into the mount. Uh, this, by the way, is attached to a telescopic fiberglass mast. Extends up to 15 feet in the air. And then uh, screwed into the mount, you can see our uh, base rod. It's a two-piece with that coupling nut. It then goes along up here and screws into this bottom coil, which is the resonator for 80 and 75 meters that I showed you earlier. I then, uh, Chris, can you hand me that, uh, that ruler again? Oh, no, I got it right here. Um, so then screwed into the 80 meter resonator, sorry, get my fingers out of the camera, um, is the super slider. And uh, you quite honestly, you just hold this, even with the notch right there, even with the bottom um, of the uh, super coil there, and you slide the super slider up to where you want it. And if I can get the glare of the light out of there, you can see that I have it adjusted to about, about 3.95 megahertz. Okay, and then that, uh, that piece, this uh, slides up and down. This is your super slider. And then the telescopic whip goes on up. And this thing is amazingly short. Um, I didn't run an overall length of it. Uh, Chris, you want to grab one of those uh, tape measures up there? Yep. And uh, you, you go ahead and read that thing. Let me take this back down here. And uh, we'll go from, uh, from the mounting point here. So it's about seven feet overall. Um, and then of course that top whip section there collapses down to about eight inches. So uh, you, can, you can make this thing pretty doggone short, stick it in a to-go bag and makes a great portable antenna. Now, to do anything but 80 meters, um, you simply pull this bottom resonator out and screw the super slider, um, or screw the uh, bottom mast into the bottom of the super slider, and then you're good for 40 through 10 meters with just the super slider. The instructions then say that you take both the super slider and this upper portion, the upper portion right here of the uh, bottom mast off, and screw your telescopic whip here into the coupling nut here. And then this antenna uh, is adjustable by just simply the telescopic whip. This is adjustable for six, four, and two meters. Um, this completes, uh, well, almost, this completes the assembly. Um, hopefully my next segment is... Uh, me uh, on the on the HF rig. We're gonna go ahead and route the brand new coax that you see coiled up here on the floor, mount it up in the ceiling of the garage, and uh, stick this mast up in here. So we will return. Well, uh, this is the conclusion, the final test. Uh, we've run uh, WA4NDR has a uh, Chris has a nano VNA, um, and we've checked it. It said that. Uh, about 2.2, 2.3 uh, to 1 match. Um, it was the best. 
and that is well within the range of my auto tuner so I don't even need to pull out the manual the MFJ manual tuner so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the final results uh, we are tuned to three decibel nine six five which is I believe where my country cousins net is uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and change the mode over to something with a carrier uh, change it over to AM we are on low power so this is a 10 watt output and we'll go ahead and key down and uh, hit the tune button on the tuner and uh, <laughs> that's how easy it was to tune um, got a power meter just us? yes this is a this this is a power meter if, if I key up yeah I was wondering um, if that thing had SWR on it, we could show off there. It doesn't. Oh. It, it does not. But uh, then we click back down to uh, lower sideband. CQ, CQ, Whiskey Alpha 7, Foxtrot Sierra Hotel. Well, I don't hear anybody out there. I do see some flickering in the uh, in the meter. Um, there's there's somebody quite a ways out there in the distance, but it looks like I probably have about an S5 noise floor, with uh, um, which is very manageable for here in the apartment complex. Uh, I've seen it a whole lot worse. Yeah, um, same S9, here. S9 or worse. <laughs> Chris and I are both, unfortunately, live in apartment complexes. So there's quite a bit of RFI. But this completes my, uh, my how-to of the MP1 super antenna. That, uh, well, I got my Christmas bonus and did, completed all my Christmas shopping and went down and bought myself a Christmas present. So thanks. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have fun and stay on the air and stay safe, everybody. WA7FSH.